rock collection. My painted rocks that I found, we find um, around different parks and different places. So yeah. So um, we're gonna try it. If we know where they're, if we remember where we got them, we'll tell you guys where. They're yeah, this is Brian from Review the World, and uh, I found some of these rocks, so I'll be able to chime in with some memories and stuff. Uh, so, painted rocks are cool, though. If you don't know what we're talking about, if you never heard of painted rocks, sometimes in parks, people will leave these really beautiful painted rocks, and you find them, you take them home. Uh, one of these days, we're going to make our own rocks and leave them, but let's get started with the first one. So, I'm trying to decide. I think we're going to A quick peek. This. All right, let's start with this one. It has like a nice tealish color, and it has purple and some green, some orange. Man, and red. that looks really cool on camera. It's really colorful, and I didn't really re realize this, but kind of sparkly. But uh, let me see the back side of it. Is it painted too? No. So this one you remember because uh, you just got it recently. Yeah. So yesterday we were at this art park and we found this. There was a couple of them, but I like this one the best. Yeah, so it's a nature reserve, but we call it our preserve, nature preserve. We call it art park because uh, they often have art objects throughout the park. Yeah, people make like art and just put it in the park. Um, and it's been one of the uh, it's been one of the places that we've found the most painted rocks. Yeah. Almost every time we go, we find uh, a couple there. Usually, if we find more than one, we only take one. Uh, yeah, so you want to so leave other it, people you can... leave more for other people. So what's next? Um, I think this one. I don't remember where it's from. Though. So this one is the only other one that I'm, I'm sure was also from Art Park. And I think um, this was a pretty early find. This is probably one of the first ones that we found. And you can tell it was probably made by a child. It's got a, an Olaf sticker on it. It's got some glitter. Okay, some but it actually red. looks pretty cool. So that one, for, I think this was from the Art Park. It was a while back, but that one we found yesterday. Cause we yeah. Were back. Um, but here it is, it has a little Olaf and it's red and yellow, it's really, I don't really know that too much, but it's really glittery. Yeah, it's, it's probably, yeah, I'd say it's the most glittery one you've got. Yeah. Let's take a look. Why do you choose the next one? I'll try to get a close up here. Yeah, uh, if you hear some rumbling in the background, a big storm is coming in. Even though it's like 11 o'clock in the morning or a early afternoon, it looks like it's like eight o'clock at night or something very dark but hey the video goes on what's the third rock so this one which is a little fog it fox it's pink i don't know if they printed this out or just traced or drew it by themselves but on the back is a sunny spot so where do you find this yesterday so this one actually um and i've never found one inside a building before but this was at the cincinnati mall aka forest fair mall I found about five rocks there, like around the fountain and on tables. So I'm guessing again, <laughs> I'm guessing again, a kid, you know, probably came and for whatever reason, maybe it's because it was almost 90 degrees yesterday. They didn't take them to a park. They left them around a, a dead mall. But this one, like you had mentioned, um, stood out to me. Most of them were just painted and you can see they printed out the name, I guess, of their, uh, their little like art handle their moniker and uh yeah this one had that cool fox thing on the back and uh while you're looking for the next rock i'll give the viewers a, a little close-up action I'm trying to get it in focus there it is yeah and he's giving sunny spot even has their own little logo um so anyway maybe they you can find their stuff online so this next one it's probably my favorite I'm oh wow okay though um, it's Snoopy. Yeah. And then he's like the little like um. The rain is coming. He um he turns his little like doghouse into like an airplane. Yeah, Snoopy's got a big imagination. This is him as his fighter Thank pilot, you. Snoopy. And um, this one I remember. Um, it's an interesting shape, though. It is, and they painted imagine. the whole rock. So we found this one um, a few weeks back, right around maybe a little bit after Memorial Day, but this was uh, at Shawnee Lookout in Cincinnati. It's real close to the uh, river, and it's a beautiful park. On and the back it says, to stay the course. Yeah, that day I actually I had found a couple, and this was the one that I thought was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's really shiny. Snoopy's always cool. 
Um, but yeah, there's a bench that looks out over the uh, the river. You can see the Kentucky side of the border. And this was sitting on the bench. And I immediately grabbed it and wanted to bring it to the collection. So the next one is actually, actually also a prim favorite. Um, it's this peace one. Oh, wow, okay. It's, it's really shiny, like smooth. It says peace in the back of the little peace sign. Now this one also has a special place because you know uh, the uh, the artist behind this one. Yeah, so um, apparently our grandma did this one. She really likes peace and stuff, so yeah. Grandma, she's a yoga teacher. She's a hippie lady. And she made this cool rock, cool colors. So the next rock, which is like the last like small or like normal size rock until we get into the big ones, is this one, which is Season's Greetings. Whoa. It's um, a Christmas rock. We found this at um, the historical village. I didn't really notice uh, this, but they said taste take a a pick on So a lot of Facebook. people want our will advertise, and I'll go ahead and give them a shout out here so that you can see this. A lot of people will um, advertise on Facebook or on Instagram their rock page where you can like share where you found the rock. And, yeah, uh, so the other day we found like this rock and it said like, like show where you found this on the FB. Um, take a picture and share this on FB yeah. where you found it. So we're, so we're going to Florida soon. So we're going to take it to Florida. And, then and gonna, pass it on. And then it's going to be like, and they're gonna be, and we're gonna take the photo there too. And they're gonna be like, how did this get there? Yeah, so, you'll pass it on, yeah. and somebody else will find it and post it. That's cool. Uh, one of the rocks that you have not shown yet, I, I will tell a story too because I, I made contact with the person on Instagram who painted it. But uh, let's move on to the next. And sorry if it's a little windy or rainy sounding. The rain is it's definitely kind of coming sad in. Night, but yeah, I mean it's it's kind of cool out here. I so this one, um, it's really. Thin, but it's a pretty white flower, which is white. Um, it's I'm trying to remember thin. where this one was found. It has nothing on the back, but it's pretty. It's kind of bumpy, but I kind of like the feel of it. It's like nice to hold my hand. It's really thin and flat. I think, you know, I take a lot of nature walks. And so that's why sometimes it is hard to remember. I, I don't recall exactly where this one came from, but it is a really nice rock. It's really smooth. We've and got two to go. I'm gonna say probably my favorite for last, but this one, which is like, um, it's like it looks like a sunset on like a tropical beach. So this one's my favorite, uh, I gotta say. Um, so actually, soon we're going to Florida, so this kind of reminds me of like the beach kind of Yeah. Vibes. And the back, park rocks on Insta. So I had mentioned before, um, I think I actually got this at Shawnee Lookout also, but it was not on the same date as the Snoopy one. It was several months ago. Um, and yeah, I, I went to Instagram and I messaged a person and I, I sent them a picture of me holding the rock and they reshared it and if i'm not just mistaken oh, like, <laughs> if i'm not mistaken i think i was the first person to find one of the rocks i haven't checked their account in a while but hopefully they're still doing this because whoa oh my gosh i didn't get it on camera but i just saw the biggest so to uh, this, uh, the biggest lightning bolt in the sky oh man that would have been great footage so to wrap this uh up we're gonna go because it's really storming a lot um I'm trying to catch lightning in a bottle so to speak but this is my um my probably my biggest and probably my favorite it says half safe it's blue with green like text and it has gold stars that's a nice paint and it's pink on the outside yeah, that one, that's a big rock, too. I that don't know, a, wait, where, where do we find it? That one, I'm not sure. How about you stand up uh, with no. this one here? <laughs> no. As your background. Um, this one, I, ooh, wow, I can't remember. Um, sometimes ones with text, I'm a little, you know, like, 
because sometimes there'll be some messages that are kind of corny or kind of unusual, but sometimes they're really inspirational. Wow. Our painted rock video is turned into a thunderstorm uh, video. You're welcome. Anyway, um, this was a really cool idea, 100% by AQ, the Adventure Queen. Um, we're gonna find more painted rocks soon. We maybe, might make a video uh, of us like hiding them. Lots of big though, because it's real stormy. Yeah, we definitely need to do a follow-up video on this. But we make our own rocks as well as when um, we find more. So thanks for watching everybody.